When the kick and 808 are being played simultaneously, the frequencies will clash, resulting in a muddy mix. That's why you gotta learn a technique called side chaining. This will make the bass duck every time that the kick plays. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do that in two levels. Level one is quite simple and quick, but it's effective. In level two, we're gonna do a more advanced side chaining technique. Let's start with level one, using the limiter. Now, first, it's really important to have great sounding kicks and 808s. If you have bad quality samples, no amount of side chaining will fix your mix. I'm currently using the 808s from Floyd Music's new sound pack. They have an endless amount of 808s and kicks and so much more, but I'll tell you more about that later. Now, to start sidechaining, you need to route the kick and 808 to a mixer track. Let's send the 808 to track 1 and the kick to track 2. In the mixer panel, select the track and hit F2 on your keyboard. That way you can rename the track to 808 and open up the color picker. Let's make it red or something. Then click on accept and there you go. Now for the kick mixer, you're gonna do the exact same thing. Now select the kick track and right click the arrow on the 808 track, then choose sidechain to this track. Now with the first mixer selected, go to the effects rack, find fruity limiter and open it up. Once it's open, go to the compressor tab. If you right click it, you will find a kick because we sidechained it before. Now decrease the threshold and then turn the ratio knob all the way to the right. Now play around with the threshold again until you have a nice sidechaining sound. If it's too aggressive, you can always increase the attack a little bit. As you can see in the graph, the kick will cut through the 808. By tweaking these knobs, you will change the behavior, the way it cuts through. And that was technique number one. But before we go to the advanced sidechaining trick number two, I want to show you a starter kit called Select Bundle from Floyd Music, with hundreds of premium one-shots for hip-hop and trap in one bundle. Floyd Music is also sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. Now, with these 808s, kicks and other sounds, your beats will instantly level up. The sounds are crafted very carefully, which makes them super unique, and there's no need to waste hours hours of finding the right sample. Beside drums, this pack also contains 251 shots of extremely high quality instruments so that you can focus on crafting melodies, scores and bass lines. Now of course there's also these small sound kits that are super useful for if you need something specific, such as this 808 and kicks pack. But if you're into atmospheric sounds, the complete Andromeda sound bundle is definitely for you and you can actually get both the Andromeda and Select bundle for almost nothing in one package. I can promise you by using these sounds, your beats will Will level up a lot. Huge sales are currently happening, so you gotta be quick to click the link down below. And now it's time for side chaining technique number two side chaining using an EQ. So, with the first technique, we made the 808 duck entirely when the kick plays. But now we're only gonna make the low frequencies duck because that's actually where the problem is. To do that, send your sounds to a mixer again, just like we did before. Then on the 808 track, go to the effects rack, find the fruity parametric equalizer too. Now, before you open it up, go to the kick mixer channel and in the effects rack, find Find the Fruity P controller. Now make sure to have them both open like this. Go to the EQ and find the first band. Then right click it and choose Link to Controller. In this window, go to the Internal Controller tab and from the drop down list, find P Control Peak. Then set the mapping formula to invert it and that's actually it. Now go to the Fruity P controller and set the bass to around 50%. As you can see, the bass of the 808 will now duck every time the kick plays. With the DK control, you can choose how fast the sidechain will happen. This is a more advanced way of sidechaining, but it will help you get better results. Oh, and next I want to show you how to correctly mix your beats in the next lesson in the video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative.